Hey everyone, your favorite gallivanter here, sharing with you one of my favorite places, Savannah, Georgia. This charming city is bursting with history, beauty, and wait for it, free things to do. That's right, even if you're on a budget, you can have an unforgettable adventure in Savannah. So grab your most comfy walking shoes and get ready to explore because here are 10 free experiences that will leave you saying, Savannah, more please. Dive into Savannah's vibrant history along iconic River Street. When General James Oglethorpe landed in Savannah during the 1730s, this area was a natural bluff overlooking the Savannah River. Cotton became king in the 19th century, and imposing warehouses were built along the waterfront to store and ship this valuable commodity. The Cotton Exchange was the heartbeat of the action. This is where the price of cotton was set for the world market. Today you can stroll the cobblestone walkways lined with shops selling everything from souvenirs to locally made crafts. Watch street performers grab a bite to eat at a waterfront restaurant and enjoy the views of the Savannah River. Take a step back in time and explore the revitalized Plant Riverside District. This former industrial complex now houses shops, restaurants, and a riverfront entertainment venue. Marvel at the towering smokestacks, remnants of the area's industrial past, and visit a free exhibit in the lobby of the JW Marriott, showcasing the dinosaur and mineral collection, including a life-sized replica of a chrome-dipped T-Rex. Savannah's heart beats in its more than 20 public squares, each with its own unique charm. Relax under the shade of majestic oak trees draped in Spanish moss and reflect on the nation's history with numerous monuments like this one in Franklin Square. It honors the largest unit of men of African descent who were recruited from present-day Haiti to serve in the Revolutionary War. Step into the majesty that is the Cathedral of St. John the Baptist, the oldest Catholic church in Georgia completed in the 1870s. Admire the stunning stained glass windows depicting biblical scenes, intricate Gothic revival architecture, and experience a sense of peace and tranquility. Some of the most beautiful and most haunting places in Savannah are the city's famed cemeteries. No visit here would be complete without taking a few minutes to check at least one of them out. Bonaventure is the most legendary, brought to national attention in the best-selling novel, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. 
Once the site of a large plantation, the cemetery located five miles east of downtown is home to an outstanding collection of sculptures memorializing many of Savannah's most notable people. If you have limited time and don't want to leave the downtown area, I recommend visiting this one, the Colonial Park Cemetery. I know it might be kind of an odd thing to say, but visiting one of these serene cemeteries will definitely be a highlight of your trip to Savannah. Hop on the free dot trolley for a convenient and fun way to navigate Savannah's historic district. The service has two loops, the Forsyth Park Loop covering the northern and eastern parts of the historic district and the downtown loop covering the southern and western sections of town. While the dot trolley does not offer narrated tours, it's a convenient and free way to navigate Savannah's historic district, allowing you to see popular landmarks at your own pace. The trolley is accessible to people with disabilities. Service animals are allowed, however, pets are not. Escape the hustle and bustle at Forsyth Park, Savannah's crown jewel. Relax on the sprawling green lawns or admire the iconic Forsyth Park fountain a popular spot for photos. Join a friendly game of pickup soccer or simply people watch and soak up the atmosphere. Charming and beautiful, two words often used to describe Jones Street here in Savannah's historic district. One glimpse down this brick-covered street with its magnificent canopy of live oaks, and you're instantly sucked in to start exploring it more. Whether you're a history buff, an architecture enthusiast, or simply seeking a charming stroll through the historic district, Jones Street is a must-visit on your next trip to Savannah. These underground vaults date back to the mid-1800s and came about as a public works project to prevent erosion. Other uses over the years are somewhat mysterious. People have speculated they hid slaves, stored cotton, or became a place to bury bodies. No one knows for sure exactly how they were used, but we do know the largest vault collapsed in 1904 during the construction of City Hall trapping three African-American workers who survived their injuries. The blurring of fiction and reality continues to this day, with some people saying they can hear voices, footsteps, and even chains rattling in the dark. Take a quick day trip just 20 miles east of Savannah to Tybee Island, a barrier island known for its beautiful beaches. Relax on the soft sand, swim in the refreshing Atlantic Ocean, or explore historic Fort Pulaski, a Civil War-era fort offering stunning views of the coastline. 